Welcome to your journey towards a healthier, stronger you. Get ready to sweat, push your limits, and transform your body with our dynamic fitness video. In this video, I'll delve into answering this question. So make sure to stick around till the end. It's going to be intriguing. Let's go. Plank will strengthen your muscles, primarily the core. The core is a group of muscles that provide support to the internal organs. These are the abs, obliques, and the erector of the spinae. Why do people often have abdominal hernias? Because they have weak core muscles. If a person has developed core muscles, then the likelihood of a hernia is extremely small thanks to powerful muscles. So, you need to train the ABs and obliques, not only to look good, but also for the health of the internal organs, too. Plank will develop your back muscles. Plank has a very good advantage. It helps develop back muscles without the risk of injury. Exercises such as the deadlift are certainly great, but the downside of the deadlift is that you need to perform it with impeccable technique, and then, many people who practiced it were injured and had to recover for a long time. Of course, the exercise is super effective, but very traumatic. On the other hand, plank is not traumatic. Moreover, if you perform plank regularly, it will help you strengthen not only the lower back muscles, but also the upper ones. And the developed muscles of the back not only look good from the outside, but they're also a very good prevention of back pain. In fact, most back pain is due to underdeveloped back musculature, so the plank will help you in that case too. Plank will fix your posture. It is well known that posture instantly sends conscious and unconscious messages to all people around. A person with good posture is perceived as a confident and attractive person. Indeed, most of us evaluate a person by how straight his shoulders are. So, if you want to look fit and good, then posture is extremely important, and the plank will help you because it strengthens the muscles of the core and upper back. It also affects the muscles of the neck and shoulders which are extremely important for posture. Therefore, if you plank regularly, it will help you fix your posture and you will already be able to notice good progress in the mirror in just a month. Plank will boost your metabolism. Plank must be done regularly, then the effect will be noticeable. By doing this exercise regularly, you will speed up your metabolism and this will allow you to lose weight. You will burn more calories and pump the abs at the same time. And therefore, in a month, thanks to the sum of these two factors, you will see six-pack abs in the mirror. The next point is coordination and balance. How long can you stand on one leg? How good is your sense of balance? The plank will help you a lot because it's great at developing your stabilizer muscles. These are extremely small muscles, which, although not visible in the mirror, perform a very important function because they maintain balance, and the ability to maintain balance will help you a lot in any kind of sports and in any physical activity. How long should you hold a plank? It depends on your training level. If you are a beginner and have never done sports before, then try at least 15-30 seconds. It is very important never to increase the duration to the detriment of proper technique. Studies show that plank for as long as possible is not the best choice for your health. On the contrary, several sets are recommended. For example, you hold a plank for several minutes with the correct technique, but not to complete failure, then rested for one or two minutes and perform the second set, and so on. What are the pros and cons of a plank? The advantages are obvious, some of which I have already mentioned. This is simplicity, accessibility, strengthening a number of muscles, maintaining a straight posture, as well as the ability to perform this exercise almost anywhere. But there are some downsides to this exercise. The first one is that if you don't follow the correct technique, you can create excessive pressure on the spinal discs, lower back and shoulder joints, which is why I always say that technique is always more important than duration. Another disadvantage is that excessive holding a plank can increase blood pressure which is why it is recommended to do several sets with a break of one or two minutes without bringing yourself to complete exhaustion. And what about the correct plank technique? In fact, more than a hundred options for its performance have already been invented, but I will talk about the classic version, 
since it is the most popular and great for beginners. You get into a push-up position, bend your elbows 90 degrees, and shift your body weight to your forearms. It is important to remember that your whole body should form one straight line. Automatically, with this, our stomach is tightened and all muscles are tensed. There are some nuances in the plank technique. Your head and neck should be relatively relaxed. You should keep your arms straight in front of you, or you can cross them, and it is very important that your elbows are directly under the shoulder joints. Otherwise, you will create an unnecessary load on the elbows and shoulders. That is, your shoulders should be clearly perpendicular to the ground. You should keep your lower back straight. Never round it or bend it too much. You breathing should be slow, calm, deep. It's very important to talk about the contraindications of plank. Plank cannot be done by pregnant women and people who have a back injury. It is also not recommended for people with hernias or problems with the elbow, shoulder, wrist, and ankle joints. It's also not recommended for people who have a tendency towards a high blood pressure. Sharing your experiences makes for an exciting read. Also, don't forget to explore more videos on my channel. Links are right on the screen. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it, hit the like button, and subscribe. Catch you soon.